What's up, basketball fans? Welcome back to yet another big man on campus college basketball conference tournament preview. I am the big man on campus, and we're here talking about another conference today. We're taking a look at the Northeast Conference. The Northeast Conference, obviously, up in the Northeast. Uh, you know, your Wagners, your LIU Brooklyn's. You're fairly Dickinson's. We're taking a look at this conference tournament, which is uh, getting going uh, on March 6th, uh, Wednesday, March 6th, 2019. And, you know, I've had um, some real success with this conference over the years. You look at last year, uh, this was my biggest future to hit. I grabbed the Blackbirds of LIU at uh, 10 to 1, and they were able to find a way to win this tournament. And, it was fun. Uh, they uh, had a great team last year, and I think they were a pretty solid shot this year, maybe counting down the nets or uh, cutting down the nets again. We'll get into them in just a second. Uh, NEC obviously is held at the higher seed uh, campus site. You look at the number one seed, it is St. Francis of PA. The Red Flash, really good basketball team. You look at them currently, plus 175 to win this conference and look, they should be. Um, they were very good uh, throughout the season. Uh, St. Francis, a terrific team uh, led by a guy named Keith Braxton. Keith Braxton, one of the better uh, players in this conference. And you know, the one thing I look for when I'm betting conference tournaments is teams that are coming in hot to this tournament. The only problem that I don't like about uh, St. Francis is they're not coming into this tournament really hot which kind of hurts. But the great thing about them is they'll host every tournament game. And you look at offensively. I mean, this is a really potent offense. This is a team that is full of sharp shooters. They shoot the three at a high level. They're really just a smart basketball team. They're full of a lot of juniors and seniors. They don't turn the ball over a ton. They're a real good rebounding basketball team. You look at in conference, this team's pulling down almost 33% of their misses, creating opportunities. And, you know, they're creating steals. They're creating opportunities. And, again, the one thing I don't like is the fact that they are, um, uh, you know, not playing as hot as, as I would like them to play. Um, but, you know, and you also look at the fact that defensively they're not great. That, that, that's not one of their telltale signs of success. You look at in conferences. Tenth and two point demons, not particularly good. Uh, definitely going to be a concern. This team goes fast. They like to play up tempo. Um, and I'm looking at their bracket. I'm saying to myself, they'll beat Bryant in the first game. But you look at that second game on Saturday, you get fairly Dickinson, the two seed. FDU, a good basketball team. And in fact, they're going to be my pick to win this conference uh, at plus 200. You look at them. I mean, you talk about a team that's hot. This um, this Knights team has won 11 of 13. They're playing at a very high level. You know, I really like a hot team coming into the tournament. And, you know, they've won five in a row. You look at offensively kind of what they do. They're a sharpshooter group. They're looking uh, – you look at in, uh, in the country, fourth in the country in three-point field goal percentage. Uh, this team just loves to shoot the basketball. And – Again, they're never out of a game. That's one thing you got to always look at. Uh, defensively, I think they're solid. I think they're better than what um, St. Francis is. That St. Francis game, if they play after you, that should be, I'd imagine, a pretty high-scoring game. Uh, you look at the first time they played, um, it was 79-61. You look at the bounce, 87-62. So, you know, it was, it was interesting. They won one and lost one. It's going to be an interesting game. The team that I have a sleeper thought on is LIU Brooklyn, 18 to 1. I think if you're betting these and you're you're interested in these, I think throwing a half a unit on LIU Brooklyn or, or whatever you're looking to bet on them, I think that's a terrific wager. Uh LAU down in the bottom of the bracket. Uh they are going to avoid the one and two seed up until the um up up until the um the uh the, the semifinal, which is interesting, that, that's kind of uh, kind of interesting to, to think about. LAU Brooklyn, I think when you look at it offensively and defensively, I don't know if there's a, a stronger team in the conference on both sides of the ball. LAU Brooklyn has really played well defensively. It's been really impressive to watch. They've really kind of given 
They're all on the defensive end. They put a lot of effort into it. They're a really old team, too. You look at, on average, their experience, about two years a player. A lot of seniors, a lot of juniors. Uh, and, and, you know, you also look at offensively. This team's number one in two-point offense, fifth in three-point offense, and fifth in overall efficiency. This team can move. This is a good over conference. A lot of high-scoring teams, a lot of teams that go real quick. Um, but, yeah, favorite, it's going to be FDU. Uh, and then my uh, my sleeper, I'm going to go LAU Brooklyn. I, I think LAU Brooklyn at 18-1 to 1 is worth a look. Uh, this is a team that, you know, LAU, they beat um, St. Francis, beat them a, a few uh, weeks ago. Um, you know, then did lose to them in St. Francis, but they only lost by seven. I picked the win. I'll go FDU to win this conference. Uh, sleeper, I'm going to go with LAU Brooklyn, 18 to 1. I will have a half a unit on the Blackbirds. Everyone have a great day. Thanks for listening. As always, uh, please like and comment. If you're new around here, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a preview. Again, this will be your comments tournament headquarters as I preview all 32 conferences. Everyone have a great night. I am the Big Men on Campus. We'll see you next time.